I'm Abby, and today we're going to show you how to make a DIY macrame keychain. Let's get started. First, you're going to need a key ring. I got mine in a three pack from Michaels, I believe for $3.99. Some macrame cord, yarn, or in my case, I was using a light colored twine. Some tape and some scissors. So first off here, what you're going to want to do is cut your twine into six strands. I wanted my keychain to be about three inches long, so I cut mine, I times it by four to make them about 12 inches each. Then to secure each of your strands to your key ring, you're going to want to use a lark's head knot. What you're going to do is put each of your strands, fold them in half, you're going to want to loop it through and around, and then pull these strings through the back. So you're going to want to do this with all six strands. So once all six strands are connected to your key ring, what you're going to want to do is take your tape just to secure it down to whichever surface you're working on. That way it doesn't move around too much as you go. So once your key ring is secured with your tape, you can start knotting. What we're going to do first is create a V using what's called a double half hitch. So you're going to want to divide your strands. You're going to take your far right strand and you're going to want to cross it over these five. And then to create the double half hitch, what you do is take the next strand and you're going to loop it over and then under and then pull through. Then you want to do this once again, loop it over, under, and pull through. Now you're just going to repeat that same step with all four of these strands until you create a line diagonal down to the center. Once you complete that down on your right hand side, you're going to do the same thing on the left. So you're going to take your far left string and cross it over the next five. Take your next strand and you're going to continue with the double half hitch. So again, you're going over, under, and pulling through. Go over, under, and pull through. And you're going to continue this down on the left hand side to create a V. So once you have your V shape, you're going to want to enclose the V by continuing down on either side with another double half hitch. So I'm going to use the left hand side and we're going to go over with this right string and just create one more double half hitch just to connect the V's down. Then we're actually going to continue down with the double half hitch on this side as well as this side to create an X. So now that this line has completed this side of the V, what you're going to do is continue on with the next part of the V. So you're going to want to find that string where this side ended and you're just going to continue the double half hitch down this way. So you'll take your string and continue on with the double half hitch. Again, over, under, and pull through. Okay, so once you have your X, what you're going to do next is you're going to do a row of four square knots down the center. So to do a square knot, you're going to take the four center strings, so move the four on the right and the four on the left out of the way. You're going to take the four center strings and you're going to take the far left of those four and you're going to cross that over these three. Then you're going to take the far right 
and you're gonna go over, under, and through. And then tighten that up to where you want your first square knot, which is right in the center of this V. And then to complete the square knot, you take your right string and you go over, Then take your left and you're going to go over that. You're going to go under and through and then pull tight. And that creates your first square knot. So then for your next square knot, you're going to push these far strands of your X off to the side. And then the far right and left of your first square knot, once that's complete, you're going to actually want to move these over to the side as well. For your next square knot, take the four, the two center, take the next far left, and the next far right string for your next square knot. So again, you're gonna repeat the pattern. Go over with the left, and then go over, take the right, go over, under, and through. Then tighten that. And then complete the square knot, take the right, go over, and then take the left, and go over, under, and through. And then tighten it up. And so then there's your two square knots. So you're gonna keep this pattern going. Again, taking the two center and continuing on with the next left and the next right strings. So now that you have all four of your square knots, you're going to complete the triangle with another row of the double half hitch. So we'll start with the right side. We're gonna take this far right string and we're gonna cross that over and then continue on with the double half hitch. So again, you're gonna go over, under, and pull through. Do that once more, over, under and pull through. And we'll continue that down to complete the diamond. Okay, so we have the right lower side of the triangle finished. Now we're gonna go and do the left. So go over, and again, continue with that double half hitch, over, under, and through, over, under, and through. And we're gonna complete the triangle. So now that the triangle is complete, you could choose to continue and do another triangle with another row of the square knots. But in my case, I'm gonna finish here. So I'm gonna do another set of the double half hitch on either side, basically creating another row here. Um, but this time what we're gonna do is you're going to gather these strings to kind of create a tassel at the end. So we'll start with the right again. You'll take your far right string, cross it over, and then with your next string, start the double half hitch. So again, go over, under, and through, and then over, under, and through. Except for this time, what you're gonna do before you take the next string is you're going to take this. So you're kind of gathering them up. So with the next string, you're gonna go over, under, and through both strands. Over, under, and through. And then continue. So that way it gathers up into a tassel. As you can see, this kind of gathers up the strings so that that way you can create a tassel at the end. So we're gonna continue with doing the left side. 
Once again, cross, take your next string, over, under, and through. Go over, under, and through. And again, just do not forget to gather as you go. And we'll continue on the left side. So once both sides are finished, you're gonna to wanna to take the rest of your strings and gather them together. And then you're gonna create what's called a gathering knot. So you're gonna to wanna to cut another long string and lay that down, leaving this little tail up at the top. And then you're gonna create a loop and you're gonna wrap the rest of the string around. And then once you've wrapped that around several times, you're gonna put your string through the loop. And then you're gonna pull tight up at the top. And so once you've done that, then you can cut these strings. And actually this one is about the length. I think I'm gonna cut these tassels. So your final and last step would be to cut your tassels the length that you'd like them. So I think I'm gonna cut mine to match this end of the string. your DIY macrame keychain. If you like this project, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe below for more DIY projects.